There was news earlier in the week um, from the Rio annual report, I think that's where it sprang from. Um, Rio Chief Tom Albanese is back up to earning US $9 million and that is a five-fold jump on one year ago. Now, Stephen Main, on what basis was uh, or is Tom Albanese um, entitled to a five-fold jump in his salary? What, just for keeping the company afloat during the GFC? Well, a lot of people think he should have been sacked um, well, we after have seen the Alcan. That commentary, the Alcan. Haven't we? Yeah, I mean, but his salary went from what 13 million down to two, uh, and that was a lot of that was the incentive and the value of his options when Rio T Tinto shares went from you know 150 bucks to 50. Uh, but look, now they've had their rights issue at 29. The stock's now 76. So there has been a lot of value created over the last year with the recovery. And much of that US $9 million is reflected in the value of his long-term incentives and these sort of things. So oh, I think it's an interesting argument. And uh, there was, I think there was a case for him being fired. Um, but uh, he survived. And uh, for someone who might have lost their job, you know, 10.4 million Australian is, uh, is pretty handy. Although he's not quite earning as much as Marius Kloppers, who's up around the, the $12 million mark. Well, yeah, I think it's that um, Tom's earning about, you know, just over nine and, and Marius, on my reading, is, is uh, earning about 10.4 and his salary has jumped from 6.9 million, so not a five-fold increase by any means. But look, to be devil's advocate, are these guys getting paid? And they're, they're obviously very, well, um, Marius Kloppers is a very good executive, but are they partly getting paid because of China's thirst for Australia's resources? Well, any, any mining executive, uh, you know, Greg Gailey, the, uh, the head of the Business Council for a while, when he was running Zinefex, uh, the zinc price went through the roof and he retired with, you know, a $15 million payout from his incentive scheme. So he didn't send the zinc price up, he just got lucky with China. So a lot of these resources executives have got lucky with the cycle. And, uh, but I do agree, you know, Marius Kloppers has done a good job at, uh, at BHP. But, uh, you know, executive pay, these sort of telephone numbers will continue to create headlines. and. We're expecting in the next couple of weeks to see some numbers from Westfield and that will be interesting to see whether Frank Lowy has cut his uh, $16 million salary, uh, which is the, you know, probably the highest in Australia uh, these days.